Welcome to Creeping It Real. I am Judah over here. We got Jacob. Behind the camera is the deceiver himself, Gabe. What up? I can't. When I started working here, I was under the impression that Gabe was an anime fan. Oh, he is, dude. Have you seen his car? Yeah, this is exactly. Led to believe a lie. Turns out this man has not seen a single anime in his life. No. Sailor Moon? Oh, is that an anime? It is, but he hasn't even seen that. You haven't seen Sailor Moon? I am so no. disappointed. I no. came in here thinking that I had somewhat of a... Uh, Kinship? Yeah. And then we're talking. He even said to me like he loves everything Japanese except for the H word. And I was like, what the heck is H word? Hentai? Like, hentai. And I was like, oh, he knows what hentai is. So that so, means he's an anime fan. Yeah. No. It's anime, right? Nothing. Yeah, it is anime. Technically. It is. Eh, hey, man. I don't know. I'm still. <sighs> he, I heard he was kind of into the like um, tentacle thing. I don't know. We didn't get. <laughs> didn't get deep into <laughs> it. Oh, really? Let's okay. get right into this review. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> anyway, last no two weeks ago we streamed Dead Sushi. It was my choice. I'm sorry. I enjoyed it. I hey, it was a lot better than uh, you, you got me. Let's watch this trailer. They're loud. seems like it might be just a goofy movie no. but it's at its core it is really about the reconciliation of oh a Lord. daughter and her father uh, it's also has a strong message about not letting one mistake in your life keep you down derail you from mm. what your purpose is yeah not only that no yeah. there was hot sushi on sushi action Oh, dude. Okay, okay, okay. If that, if that sushi uh, humping action did not sell you on this movie, I don't know what will. What were your What were your thoughts? Off I I loved I loved the practical effects in it. It had you know, um, it was just so goofy. It looks like two friends came up with a terrible idea and ran with it. And did like some project work for like a class, uh -huh. like a college class. It seems like something I would have done, you know, if I was in that. It just it was it's hilarious, man. It's like I want to make something that's gonna make people laugh. Since you brought up uh, practical effects, I agree. This is this is a glimpse of what some of the practical effects were. Now it looks kind of silly right here. When they did use practical effects, I thought it was generally good. Well, I thought so too. Like that was probably a high point in. <laughs> I mean the the CG was not oh, good. Oh, the CG was so bad. We're mm -hmm. talking birdemic levels. If anybody has seen birdemic, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so like bad. very very like early 90s like just coming around like, "Oh, what's this do?" Word exactly. art. It looked like word art. And if there was a way for them to get away from the CG, it act, it might make this movie better. Oh, I, I mean, think well, if they could have somehow done it, they could have even the flying sushi could have been done on the flying sushi. I had stuff like that. I had trouble know? with the flying sushi, but yeah, 
I mean, of all the things that <clears throat> bothered me the most was the flying sushi. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I just <laughs> didn't get it. It was really bad, man. But when, again, the practical effects, I enjoyed. But yeah. the, the CG kind of screwed with it. Now, the overall production value was not fantastic. It seemed very low budget. Yes. But a lot of these movies do like this. A lot of them end up this, these this these Japanese or Chinese horror slash comedy almost campy they're all I mean that that kind of goes into what's so endearing about them I think I I agree I no. agree so it was directed by Noboro Iguchi now it says here I'm going to read all of these off to you because I find them all entertaining <laughs> it says that he got the idea from the film Piranha 3D. Have either of you seen Piranha 3D? No. I've not seen yes, that. Yes, I have. Okay. No. <laughs> this Piranha 3D is known for two things, blood and boobs. Oh. I mean, Let's that's, fire that up. That's all there is to this movie. People being eaten in naked giblies. So kind of like um, Anaconda, essentially. Anaconda had no nudity from what I remember. No, but there's a lot of boobs. I mean, potentially there might have been. I don't remember. And a lot of I, blood. I remember Piranha 3D, just a lot of nipples. A lot of nipples. So that was a Japanese movie? No, this was an American. Okay, that's what I thought, because I, I thought I heard of it. Okay. Anybody want to guess what the sequel to Piranha 3D was? 4D? No. Bra 2D. <laughs> Piranha Double D. D Double D. D. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. Wow. Anyway, so when I saw this, I was not surprised. Apparently, it was a big hit in Japan. Again, not surprised. Oh, side note. This is so weird. There's such pervs over there. And uh, that connects with what I'm about to say. I was watching a documentary on anime. Of course, Gabe wouldn't know anything about that. But they were talking about how when um, the market goes down not the market of anime but like when there's a recession yeah some reason i have no idea how to explain this but according to this documentary when money gets tighter in anime manga the boobs on the women get bigger <laughs> there's well, some get, see when you're depressed you really just have to kind of like find a way to you know, bring bring the joy back and bigger boobs. Clearly, it brings the joy back. I'm not a boob guy myself, but hey, if the Japanese like it, mm -hmm. um, that was a side note that I did not mean to bring up. <laughs> it just happened to pop in my head. Okay, I'm sure it did. <laughs> I don't know if it popped in there. If there's got a, it's got a residency inside that mind of yours, <laughs> it, it might rent free. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> anyway. He said that after seeing that, he had been thinking about how he wanted to make a movie where people are being attacked by animals, and he loves the movie Killer Tomatoes, which I've actually never seen. Have you ever seen Killer Tomatoes? I have not. Okay, I guess that's on our list. Which is crazy. He decided he wanted to make a film about food that attacked human beings, and so we get Dead Sushi. Dude, I, I would love to see Dead Yoshi. That'd be a good one. I would like to see Dead Grogu. Um, I don't Grogu. know. Yeah, the stupid Star Wars. Anyway, Baby Yoda. Uh, um, <laughs> why, why Dead Yoshi? No, I just think Dead Sushi. That'd go into Dead Yoshi. So just a zombie Yoshi? Yeah. Eating Mario? Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, Yoshi's Island. Like he goes to hop on to Yoshi, and Yoshi turns around, and he's like... Wah. I don't think we will be alive, but if we could survive long enough for that to go into uh, public domain, we should... We should do that. How long is it? 70 it's like years? 75 or something like that. So we're, we're dead for sure. Okay. The next one. Man. The opening fight scene with the naked man spitting on the ground took a day and a half to film, which was the longest spent on a scene during the 10 day production schedule. 10 days? Director Noboro Egochi, I don't know how to say his name. Sorry, guys. Said that the actor was pretty embarrassed because he had to stay naked in front of several actr actresses almost the entire time. That's just to get people I don't understanding. Remember. Can we show that clip for a second, Gabe? Okay, oh, that scene was cheesy, but I thought uh, the general fight scenes they looked. They looked well. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Okay. This was m one of my favorite things in the trivia. Director Noboro Aguchi said in an interview that unlike his previous graphic films, graphic, I'm mm. thinking 
graphic films. He made this for the family viewing, though it does include bloody violence and naked women. And men. That's true. Except he covered up. Yeah, that's fair. He covered up. So would either of you, Gabe, being that you have several children out there, not with the same woman, would you let your kids watch this? Definitely. Oh, okay. I so mean, I don't. I don't ever see them, right? So, yeah, that's fair. He, he's not. I, he's I didn't not. expect just for the audience. I didn't expect that, but I only have one kid out there. No, no. He just got one card for Father's Day. Nope. Well, that Zero. he knows of, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. I know of. Okay, you, me. What are you? What are you doing? Are we? Are we sharing this with the kids? <laughs> oh, me? Yes. You, yes. No. Sure. <laughs> Kids, no. come on in here. We're going to watch a family movie. Just get out. No, just Go make sorry, dinner. Sorry, yeah, that's it. No, she wouldn't She wouldn't allow it, but I, I, you know, they'd see probably the first three seconds, and then Jess is like, what are you guys watching? No, no. And then I'd be like, then we'd have a talk. Gotcha. But I was like, it's a family movie. It says right here. It, it says, says it right, right here. And everything on the internet, it's true. Yeah. The director told Dread Central that he wrote... The screenplay in three weeks, spent two months preparing and filmed the movie in 10 days. Would either of you have guessed that? Yeah. Uh, n- no. Yeah. I don't know how long it usually takes to film a movie, but 10 days seems very fast. It, it's it's pretty. Even for a movie like this. Yeah. Mm, that's, when that's you've, your speedy. typical Marvel is like a year and a half or something. And <laughs> to think the longest scene was the naked guy. Yeah, if he would have just done days. it, he would have just done it. If it would have just gotten over, then I mean, they would have been done early and yep. all going home. Yeah. Uh, I don't care about that last one, world premiere. Who cares? Uh, 2012 was when it came out. I, I'm gonna rate this movie. I'm gonna give it out of How a many ten. How sushis? I'm, I'm gonna give it six Ooh. egg sushis. Ooh. Okay. Now, I know that seems high. That's just five, I would say, is average. And six is just a little bit above average. And that's just because this tickles the weirdness inside of me. Uh, it tickles something else inside no, of you, I'm sure. No, no, mm, yeah, no do, tickling. Um, Which, speaking, I'll let you, you rate it, and I got some other things. Um, okay, so there's a few uh, ways of saying this. In general, like uh, rewatching, I would say, is probably six. You know, seven uh, again. It's you have to be with friends, kind of have to. You guys just sitting there laughing up. Like this is something I'd show my brother. Oh yeah, for like sure. he would love something like this, and I would sit down and watch the whole thing. Look, I, six and a half is probably where I'm at for rewatch or for just for over in general. Dr- wow, bro, I half know. a point higher than me. I just had to be a little bit better than you. No, I'm not huge into these Japanese movies, so like when I see something like this, it's super weird, super quirky, goofy, campy. I love campy horror. That's mm-hmm. like my favorite, um, you know, and this just really tickled that part of me. See, that's what I'm saying. Gabe, what are we saying here? Did it tickle you? What did I give uh, Terrifier? The second one you gave a two. Wow. I'd say it's like a four. Okay. Really? I was not interested in it. I'm not gonna lie. It was, there were some parts that were funny, but it was, it was a hard watch. Yeah, this is coming from the guy that um, suggested American Psycho. Well, well, this is like the don't spoil This it. is like the pumpkin spice of the horror world. <laughs> Apparently, next week we're gonna be watching American Psycho, selected by our deceiver over here. It's it's this is not my first rodeo with Japanese cinema. Sure it isn't. I'm <laughs> <laughs> kind of sewer over here. I am. I mm. give it a little. Yeah, that Sn- one's good. Does it pass the sniff test? Yeah. Oh. This, this one. Mm. Pass the sniff test. This, for me, I don't want people to judge Japanese people based off of this movie. Because I think in general, Westerners, when you say Japanese like entertainment, they instantly think, perverted and weird yeah. or something like that but it was it was yeah. it was it was like this is almost the caricature of what westerners think of japanese entertainment which it's not but all it was, that uh, way it was 100 uh, percent unironic but this one yeah this is like definitely fits it to a t uh, i was entertained i can't wait though. to see mutant girl squad yeah that's gonna be good one one yeah, thing watch it thing that bothered me though oh is 
the sushi, besides the fact that they're flying, the sushi attacks this woman, grabs onto her tongue, yep. and is yanking her tongue out. She has mm-hmm. this massively long tongue because the yep. sushi Gene is Simmon. Yep. biting on her tongue. Mm-hmm. Her coworker comes, and instead of her coworker being like, hey, I need to save my friend, or they probably aren't friends, but at least coworker, have some kind of empathy for this woman whose tongue's being bitten this by the sushi. Instead of trying to help her, he's all like, oh, look, she's occupied and her jigglies are showing. I need to cop a feel. This that was, that was really gross. It, 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 this truly did uh, bother me. It frustrated me. His Instead of saving her, he, he was contemplating... Now's my chance to go wiki wiki. He wow. seems like the type that necrophilia, you know, ideal. Why do we for jump him. to necrophilia off that? That's yeah. interesting. Well, I just mean like if it, he's a, um, you know, uh, what would you call that? You know, he takes no. he takes opportunist. There you go. Thank you, Gabe. No, don't ask Gabe. I got a question for you, Gabe. Yeah. Can you will you answer honestly? Gabe, will you answer honestly? Oh, yeah, yeah. If sushi attacked my tongue mm-hmm. and my <laughs> nipples were exposed, <laughs> are you going to help me remove the sushi? Are you going to give me a little boinky boy? A little tickle. <laughs> are you going to tickle that part of him? On it. You can't. That's not fair. You said you'd answer honestly. Are Maybe you just embarrassed? I would help you. That's Thank actually you. your nipples making that like squeaking noise when he's. <laughs> Judah. That was the. Yep. You can rest assured that I would help you. Thank you. I'm glad to know at least one of you would. And then I would take the sushi out of your mouth. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. All right. We've been creeping it real. Bravo. I like that. Man. This, I found this really hilarious. This is on, uh, like I said, the IMDb bio for the director. It's, his films often involve things coming out of people's rectums, such as Girl with Chainsaw in a Mutant Girl Squad, The Girls with the Swords in Robo Geisha, and the giant tapeworm in Zombie Ass Toilet of the Dead. Yeah, that's something we got to put on our watch list, man. I got to tell you, I can confirm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sure you've seen all of them. No, no, I have not. I've seen Robo Geisha and I've seen Zombie Ass. Really? Yeah, but I have not, not seen Mutant, Mutant Girl Squad. Okay. So I think we're going to try, except I couldn't find it. Which is the Power Rangers of the horror. Yeah. You know? So. Oh, no, I'm pervs. Here, Bad Butt. Click on Bad Butt. He was in the ABCs of Death, huh? Yeah. F is for fart. Yes. Yes. Do you remember that one? I don't. Oh, I don't recall okay. it, but my God, I remember ABCs So let's of read, Death. before you scroll down, it says the touching oh love my, story I of a girl, her lesbian <laughs> lover, and her ass, which has a face on it. Just scroll down and look at the click on this photo. That This is... <laughs> wow. Can you imagine the poor girl that had to wear that? <laughs> You think? I mean, that's that's good though. That is good. I love that. Those practical effects are good. That is. Except there should be like some kind of a small streak. It was difficult to get her in there. There was a lot of stretching going on, but they they made it work. And (laughs) my wife is gonna watch this. We I'm sorry, Jess. we didn't watch it. I'm we we get back out of this. We get back out of this. Mm-hmm. But save that mark, bookmark that for him if you want. <laughs> you just go back later and look at that again. Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> when you're in your office by yourself. I okay. All this to say, this is a weird movie. Yeah, this fun. is not for everybody. This is definitely to share with friends, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to laugh about it. Yeah. Okay, this has been Creeping It Real. I enjoyed the movie, and check us out next week when we stream. I forgot it. American Psycho. Super Kaiwai. Goodbye. We stream it on Rumble, but please like, subscribe. We also post our reviews on YouTube. Goodbye. <laughs>